So today I was going to not do this video but it keeps coming up again and again and again as a request and so I think I want to give you what you want. I want to entertain and, and, and make people happy. A while ago I did a Mr. Rogers reaction for the first time and I was both overwhelmed by what I saw in the video because I'd never seen anything similar to it here in Ireland. And simultaneously it got a great reaction from you guys, which really surprised me because I didn't really appreciate the breadth to which he was such a huge thing. We haven't heard that much about him here in Ireland slash Europe at all. So when I put up that video, everybody was like, you have to go see his address to PBS and saving PBS. And with every video, people refer me to other videos and I can't possibly get through all the videos, but I do kind of scan through them and this video I scanned through but I haven't watched in full so today I'm going to do that because that's what you want. I want to give you what you want. No, I am really looking forward to it because the hype around it is huge. So let's do that today. Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you go to the supermarket to get a specific thing in a specific store, guess what? It won't be there. It'll be sold out with no idea of when it's coming back in. Wouldn't that be inconvenient? Yes, it would. But to avoid such a curse, subscribe. On May 1st, 1969, Fred Rogers appeared before the US Senate Commerce Committee requesting funds to help support the growth of a new concept, national public television. Now, Mr. Rogers is certainly one of the best things that's ever happened to public television, and his Peabody Award is testament to that fact. We in public Peabody television Award. are proud of Fred Rogers, and I'm proud to present Mr. Rogers to you now. Fred. All right, Rogers, you got the floor. <laughs> wow, he looks like a real character. Oh, he's such a nice face, isn't he? Senator Pastore, this is a philosophical statement and would take about 10 minutes to read, so I'll not do that. Oh, so he's going to go completely off script. I am just so struck by his gentle, soft voice in such a formal setting. And that's something I remember learning in a... Uh, as I was an actor that a huge thing that you can do with your voice is sometimes just to speak as quietly as possible and it will draw people in. Sometimes it don't work, but uh, he had it down. One of the first things that a child learns in a healthy family is trust. And I trust what you have said that you will read this. Wow. It's very important to me. I care deeply about children. My first children. Will it make you happy if you read it? I'd just like to talk about it if all it's right, all right. Sir. I'm struck by the fact that he's speaking to them exactly as he would children. Okay. My first children's program was on WQED 15 years ago, and its budget was $30. Now, with the help of the Sears Roebuck Foundation and National Educational Television, as well as all of the affiliated stations. Each station pays to show our program. It's a unique kind of funding oh, in tiny. educational television. With this help, now our program has a budget of $6,000. Oh my God! It may sound like quite a difference, but $6,000 pays for less than two that's minutes nothing. of cartoon. Financially, that's nothing. Two minutes of show. animated what I sometimes say, bombardment. I'm very much concerned, as I know you are, about what's being delivered to our children in this country. It's so interesting to see the tactics of psychology that he uses behind this. He speaks to them as though he has trust in them. And when you place trust upon somebody that you already trust them, they're more inclined to meet your trust in some cases very interesting we deal with such things as as the inner drama of childhood we don't have to bop somebody over the head to make him to to make drama on the screen we deal with such things as getting a haircut or the feelings about brothers and sisters oh, and the so kind happy. of anger that arises 
in simple family situations. And we speak to it constructively. How long a program is it? It's a I'm half hour every day. Most channels schedule it in the, in the noontime as well as in the evening. Uh, WETA here has scheduled it in the late afternoon. Could we get a copy of this so that we can see it? Maybe not today, but I'd like to see the program. I'd like very much for you I'd to like see. I'd like to see the program yeah. itself, or any one of them. He's see? invested. We, we made 100 programs for EEN, the Eastern Educational Network, and then when the money ran out, people in Boston and Pittsburgh and Chicago all came to the fore and said, we've got to wow. have more of this neighborhood expression of care. And this is what, this is what I give. It's, I give an expression like of care YouTube every day to Sorry. each child <laughs> kind to of help him realize that he community. is unique. I end the program by saying, you've made this day a special day by just your being you. There's no person in the whole world like you, and I like you just the way you are. And I feel that if we in public television can only make it clear that feelings are mentionable and manageable, so we will have done a great service wow. for mental health. This is 1969? Uh, I think that it's much more dramatic that two men could be working out their feelings of anger. Much more dramatic than showing something of gunfire. I'm constantly concerned about what our children are seeing. And for 15 years I have tried in this country and Canada to present what I feel is a meaningful expression of care. Do you I narrate it? Wow, they had no I'm idea the who you are. Yes, and I do all That's the puppets, amazing. and I write all the music, and I write all the scripts. Well, I'm supposed to be a pretty tough guy, and this is the first time I've had goosebumps for the last two days. <laughs> well, I'm grateful, not only for your goosebumps, but for your interest in, in our kind of communication. Could I tell you the words of one of the songs which I feel is very important? Yes. This has to do with that good feeling of control, which I feel that the children need to know is there. And it starts out, what do you do with the mad that you feel? And that first line came straight from a child. I work with children oh. do, doing puppets in, in very personal communication with small human. groups. What do you do with the mad that you feel? When you feel so mad, you could bite when the whole wide world seems oh so wrong and nothing you do seems very right. What do you do? Do you punch a bag? Do you pound some clay or some dough? Do you round up friends for a game of tag or see how fast you go? It's great to be able to stop when you've planned a thing that's wrong and be able to do something else instead and think this song. I can stop when I want to, can stop when I wish, can stop, 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 any time. And what a good feeling to feel like this and know that the feeling is really mine. Know that there's something deep inside that helps us become what we can. For a girl can be someday a lady and a boy can be someday a man. I think wow. it's wonderful. Wow. I think it's wonderful. <sighs> Looks like you just earned the $20 million. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's the FCD. Wow. Wow. God, it's just so beautiful. God. Oh, he's just such a charismatic, enigmatic individual. I was blown away by the response to that video because I was so hard struck by what a unique anomaly of a human being that this person that I saw for the first time on my YouTube channel was and that then I came to realize you all felt that way about him too. 20 million back then was so much but I can't believe that they were existing on 6,000 for like the two minutes of cartoons that's 
insane when you look at how much we spend on television today. Oh my god, it's insanity to think that their budget was so tiny initially and how it all just kind of, oh, it sounds so cliche, it sounds so cliche, but you just have to say, it all came from the heart and that's what made it special and that's what made it hit the hearts and the minds and has lasted, I guess, with the American people to this day. So together we can all feel like suckier people. My takeaway is I'm truly inferior as a human being than this man and basically there is no point to me anymore. On that note, over to Chewy for some shout outs. Hello everybody, Chewy here. Today's shout out goes to Brian Ediger who wants to thank his former professor Kevin Morrow who always encouraged him and invited him to some really hot places. This is them in Jordan on a six week archaeological dig. He recently started training and working at the Smithsonian Institute. Thanks Brian, it does look very hot there. Today's second shout out goes to Curtis Watkins for his friend, his mentor and his brother Doug Robinson. This picture was taken on the last day of his employment before he retired. Doug sadly passed earlier this month but he will be remembered by Curtis who had the distinct opportunity to work for him and as his partner on occasion. Curtis says he had the best bedside care, was patient and full of knowledge. He loved his job and spread it among those who knew him. He says rest easy Doug, we will take it from here. What a love Lovely message Cortez. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all of you and I will see you on the other side. Have a great week. Bye. I was going to wear these in a video but they reflect the light a lot. You got down off your couch. What happened? You looking for treats? You looking for treats? You looking for treats at box? Oh, there's me, I'm annoying.